later as well. So what we're gonna do this morning, what I would like to do with you is a meditation called kindness of others. Because I guess many times in our life, we feel like I did this, I did this. We feel very self-sufficient, very self-independent. And we hardly realize that we actually really depending with every little thing in life, everything we have, we do, we are depending so much on others. And this meditation hopefully will give you a better, like a more real point of view on the interdependence of humanity. And then naturally when we can realize the kindness of others, this wish to give it back, I think will very natural arise in our heart. So the meditation of kindness of others is really um, here to open our heart to get a, like a real or not a real, but a, the, the, the view on reality around us from a different perspective. And I hope you will enjoy very much. And as usual, I will stay afterwards for a few questions if you have. Okay, so let's start this meditation. So take a moment here. Bring the shoulders up to the ears, ground your sit bones, elongate your spine. Find a place for your hands where they can rest easily. And then when you have find your meditative posture, one more time, check in within your body, head to toe, toe to head. And if you encounter tension, tightness, or yeah, tight areas, then use the exhale, invite this area to soften, to release, to let go. And now the body is much more prepared for meditation. Now allow also the mind to come into the present moment, dropping all worries, expectations aside and starting this meditation as a complete new piece of paper, allowing the mind to be fully here right now, nothing to solve, to think, to plan. Give yourself the luxury, the freedom for this next 25 minutes to be fully present and here. The body has arrived, the mind is more present. Now we have time and space to set our motivation for this morning. And here I can just Take the thought that how marvelous, how wonderful it is that we are all here together in this very morning, having all these causes and conditions coming in. That we can meditate, we have a community who supports that we have some insight that we wish to meditate. That's already so much beauty just here. And when we start looking inside, when we start creating our well-being from the inside out, we will be automatically bringing this to the world around us. So meditation is definitely something we do for ourselves and through that benefiting the world around us. So we can think that may this session from the beginning be our little contribution world peace this morning. With this open heart, with this beautiful motivation, I invite you now to start a practice by meeting the sensations of the breath in the area of your abdomen. Just not changing the breath, no pranayama, just noticing the falling and rising 
in your own natural rhythm. Noticing how your breath is moving your belly. Your belly is moving up and down in the rhythm of your life. And all you have to do is to just be there, stay with that rhythm, with that movement. If it's easy, you can also, also place one hand or two hands onto the lower belly. <laughs> Allowing this breath movement, this fall and rise of your belly to be the most interesting, the most important thing right now to follow. So why draw your senses onto the lower belly, onto the movement of your breath? There's many signs which proves that by observing the breath in the lower belly, we're actually activating the parasympathetic nervous system, allowing the body to come in a rest of in a state of rest and digest, allowing the nervous system to calm down. And so that the mind will follow. So just be with the breath. You are fully aware when you are breathing in and you are also fully aware when you are breathing out. And there might be coming thoughts, memories, plopping up in your inner video or in your inner camera. Give it further interest. Your interest is with the breath. And every time you find yourself distracted, first of all, rejoice. Because the moment you notice you're distracted, you are doing right. Because you are in awareness. You are in the practice. And then all you have to do is to simply relax um, Relax body and mind a little bit more. Release the thought, the memory, the plan, and then return back to this ongoing movement in your lower belly. Every time you are distracted, applying the attitude of relax, release, and return. And this we might have to do again and again. And here we can all practice now another three minutes in complete silence and you try to stay with the breath for the three minutes again and again.
Okay. And now let's go off the breath. And I'm going to guide you now into the meditation of kindness. I will so try to follow my voice so you get the most benefit out of the meditation for you. And now I invite you <laughs> to think about the kindness that you have received from close friends, from supporters, from family men. Maybe great support in your life or encouragement no, to do no, what no, you no, aspire no. to do. Try to recognize for some time the value of certain friends, family members, relatives in your life who have supported you, helped you on your path, on your way. I try to think about that so you stop taking it for granted that this is, and instead of having a much more sense of appreciation for the kindness, for the love, the care, the support we have received, So I'm bringing to mind specific people, specific acts of kindness that they have shown you throughout your life. You maybe can think about the beginning of your life, the kindness, the benefit we have received from our parents or the people who brought us up, family, relatives, reflecting on the care they gave us when we were young and couldn't protect ourselves from danger, we couldn't even feed ourselves. But just having received this body, it was first of all our parents that have 24 hours, seven days per week, or the people who brought us up, or relatives, grandparents. They have protected us, cared for us, showing us measureless kindness so we can finally develop in the person we are right now in the human being we are today. It's due to them they looked over our education, they helped us. So we can learn or we could learn even the more basic, basic things like walking, trying, uh, tying our shoes, eating, talking. And also all our abilities, talents, skills today. They are due to people who taught us this, who supported us, who trained us. So take a moment more here to reflect on this sentence. All the skills I have today I have actually learned from someone else.
And then allow a sense of gratitude for the kindness that you have received from the people around you who brought you up, cared for you, and also educated you for so many years in your life already. <coughs> and then hold that gratitude in your heart. Allow your heart to feel the gratitude there. Hmm. And now with this more soft and melted heart, you can continue by also consider the help that you have received from strangers. For example, from people who have <coughs> for instance, for people who have built the house, the place, the apartment you are sitting in right now. <clears throat> and of course, we don't know them. But without their kindness, we would not be able right now to meditate or consider the people with all the requirements that we have internet to connect people who developed Zoom so we can use this platform. So, so many causes and condition and support from people we do not know at all. But without their support, without their doing what they are doing, we could not sit right now and meditate. Or we can also think about how many beings, not only human beings actually, are participating in preparing food? I mean, those produce, those sentient beings who produce the food, who transport the food, who grew the food, who cook the food, right? So many different sentient beings are involved in that process. And you can go as far as thinking about the countless insects that prepared the ground. So the food we will have for our lunch later was able to grow in the first place. And regardless of what is the motivation of without their energy and without them doing what they are doing, we wouldn't be able to stay alive. We wouldn't. Just reflect on that sentence a few more moments here. Try to see this amazingly vast interconnectedness. And we are all rely on that in our day-to-day -day life. And see if you can develop from that a sense of kindness, of a for all those sentient beings for doing what they do. Let your heart open to all those strangers and feeling gratitude. Because if you think about this, just like the fact that the bed I'm lying in, whatever I possess is made from so many sentient beings. And when we think about that, our interconnectedness is quite mind-blowing. And then there is also 
another group of people which made the first point will not come easy for us. But you can also think about all the benefits you have received from people you do not get along with very well. And in each, initially, we may not think of our interactions with them as being beneficial for us. But if we take a closer look into it, we can actually easily see that how we do benefit from our connections with them or inter connections with them. Because other people, when they criticize us, when they criticize us, they point out our weaknesses. And this gives us the ability to recognize them. And through the recognition, we have the chance to change them for the better. So it's actually this opportunity of development comes from people criticizing us, disliking us. And then we can also reflect that it's due to those people being angry with us. We have the opportunity to practice and develop patience, acceptance, and tolerance. It's due to them being annoying and irritating for us or maybe even harming us. We have here the opportunity to practice and engage in tolerance, acceptance, and a positive response. So in a way it's due to them, they give us the opportunity to develop our inner good qualities further and further. Without people who are angry with us, there is no way we can practice patience and develop ourselves in that regard. <clears throat> and also, in addition, whether we had, and all of us, we had difficult times in life, you know, when it's painful, hurtful, when we had fights with others, but finally we survived them, right? We were able to learn from this experience and we were able to develop ourselves and eventually growing and being stronger than before. So take a moment more here to look at all the difficult relationships you had in your life or throughout your life and see if you can develop a little sense of gratitude for all those people and for the kindness that they have provided you to giving you the ability, the opportunity to develop to making us grow, to making us develop, and to being more skillful, handling difficult, painful situations. And now we have reflected on the kindness we have received from friends, from family, from strangers, and <coughs> people we had difficult times with. Now do you also have a sense that they all have benefited you in their way? Your whole life totally relies upon others. And through this understanding, your beautiful card will naturally open further and further. 
So just now rest in that open heart another minute here. And then we can slowly bring this meditation towards an end by just rejoicing, feeling so happy, right? You did great, mentally clapping on our shoulders, appreciating the kindness we did for the world by doing this meditation, allowing this reflection in our life. And then we can also dedicate, may this morning practice, may every moment here be beneficial and supportive for the world around us. May this meditation serve as a cause to develop <coughs> peace and happiness in this world. So that we can reach a state of full inner happiness. And we can repay the kindness that we have received. And dedicating all our merits for the welfare, for humanity, for all sentient beings. Sending it up. Omani Pimehom. May wisdom and compassion arise within every one of us. And here I would really like to quote one more sentence which just came to me, you know, that happiness is not coming from getting what we want. It comes from appreciating what we have and through so that we automatically feel and give back to the world in that way i wish you all a great great start in this new week happy monday i stay for a few questions if there are please feel free to ask and otherwise i see you back on wednesday morning thank you so much